Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good morning, Hopewell, and happy Friday. Last Friday, students shared their skills in our talent show, and we caught up with some of the performers to see how it went. I'm Katie, and I sang Waving Through a Window as Dear Evan Hansen from Dear Evan Hansen. Uh, hi, I'm Owen Harrison. And hi, I'm Jimmy Waltman. And we are one half of the Perfect Fourth. The talent show, it's so much fun. I've done it since freshman year. I think being the opening act is it was a little bit stressful, uh, and when we found out, it was a little nerve-wracking, but um, because we did this last year, and we've been performing together for so long, um, it felt pretty natural, I think. I love it, because I get to like step out of my comfort zone, and I get to do something that I love doing, and like express it to like everyone in the school. I would say just, just pick a song that you like, or whatever act you want to do, something that's meaningful to you, and just practice it as much as you can, and go in and do your best. Sure, just go for it. Yeah. If you're having fun, then everyone watching is having yeah, fun. Yeah, exactly. If you want to audition, don't be nervous, because it's, you're doing it for fun. You're doing it for your own entertainment, not to please others. Like, who cares if someone doesn't like your act? Like, it's just one person. It's, all that matters is that you're having fun up there, you're expressing yourself, and you're enjoying what you're doing. It's all about you. There should be more people next year. It takes talent to march to the beat of your own drum. Last weekend, members of the band marched together towards first place at MetLife Stadium. I'm Hannah, I'm the drum major of the band, and that means I conduct and lead the band. So my name is Chris Nadar. I've been playing tuba with the marching band for three years now, and uh, I'm also the section leader for the brass section. The Yamaha Cup, it's really great that we won, but what's important to our band is that we did our best. And like the numbers show that, like in our score, that we did really well. But knowing ourselves that we had a great run, we had a great show, we did our best like for ourselves. We got first place and we got best percussion and we, our guard took second place out of all the groups. So what I can say I've learned from being a marching band is there's always something to take away. Even after being in the group for five years, there's always something you can learn from it, whether it be learning to work with a new group of people, how we can be successful together. It changes year from year, and there's always something to take away from that. This week's Photo of the Week theme is science. And here's a look at what some science teachers captured behind the lens. Science is definitely cool, and it's all around us. Thank you everyone for sharing. Are you interested in helping create the yearbook? Next Wednesday, October 25th, the yearbook club is having their first meeting during lunch in room 216. Anyone interested in working on this year's yearbook is welcome to attend. No experience is needed and snacks will be provided. Bring a friend. Calling all sports lovers! If you want to write about sports at CHS, Dog Pound Insider is the club for you. Dog Pound Insider is going to be a sports blog that will keep HVCHS students and the community up to date with Hopewell Athletics. The Dog Pound Insider team is planning to start writing for the winter sports season. If you're interested, please contact Liam Holland at liamholland at hvrsd.org. Go dogs! Mia Zhang wants to help CHS students get an inside look on local businesses. Here's more on that. Hi, my name is Mia Zhang, and I am super excited to announce the beginning of a new program here at the high school called HV Connect. HV Connect is a new program that I've been working on with Dr. Abrams and the help of Helpwell, and it's basically a networking system which will allow students here at the high school to connect with local businesses who are willing to offer them with a job shadowing or mentorship experience. This is a great opportunity for students who really are interested in a specific field but don't have too much experience in it. Um, this program allows you to get a little insight to any field, be it laser physics or law or early childhood care. 
Anything that you're interested in, this program will help you connect with a local business who's willing to help out and give you a little bit of a look into what it's like in that career. You can get involved, it's for juniors and seniors. Um, an email was sent out this past week and you fill out the attached survey indicating which field you're interested in and within the next couple of days we will work to connect you with the supporting business. Can you name this week's movie mystery? I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bull. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. We'll share the answer later today on Twitter. This week's Bulldog Buddies belong to Caitlin Gummerlock. Meet Mocha, Chino, and Coco. They are chihuahuas who enjoy sleeping, swimming, barking at flies, biting people's toes, hiding in pillowcases, and eating watermelon rinds. They sleep all day and play all night. They love to get into trouble and are very talented. Mocha can jump up to three feet tall, Coco's underbite can distract any crowd, and Chino's special in his own way. That's all for this week. Thanks everyone for watching and have a great weekend.